If you're into speedrunning, you have probably seen Carl Jopp's videos about Doom speedruns. Informative and entertaining to watch, these videos provide a good synopsis of the game's history and achievements in an easy to understand way. For me in particular, his video about the history of the Void Glide in E2M6 was especially fascinating, to the point where it drove me to join the Doom community. One thing I found frustrating, however, as a casual player, was the lack of information and tutorials on this trick. That's where I come in. In today's episode of Speedrunning for Casuals, I will be showing you how to do the Void Glide in E2M6 of Doom, as well as explaining how it works. Before I show you how to do the trick, here is footage of me performing it on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. While far from perfect, this should give you an idea of what it looks like to perform it. Now that you've seen it done, I'll walk you through how to do it yourself. Okay, so here we have the live game footage. You can see my keyboard inputs. We are loaded into the game here. So first, I'm going to go through a walkthrough of what I'm doing before I do the trick, and then I'll show you how to do the two parts. By the way, I've set the game to no monsters mode for the purposes of demonstration, so I don't have to deal with the monsters trying to kill me but obviously there would be stuff here as shown in the previous footage when doing this in the actual game. So the first thing is you go through the hallway, open this door, and press on that switch. FYI, when it says jump, that's me pressing the space bar, which is my use key. Next up, you come out here, you hit this switch, this platform will rise, you grab this, and then that little path right there will open up. So you want to go through here. And then flip this switch by pressing use on it. And then, over here, you'll see this door. You can't open that without a key. So you need to go through here. Go forward, take a left, take another left, and you will see this stuff. Normally, this and this will both have monsters in there. So, you might want to kill them first before you attempt the trick. Now we're here. This is where the trick comes in. What we're doing is essentially going to pass through this corner of the wall and press the switch from the other side. The first thing you need to know before executing the trick is the concept of strafe 50. So you'll notice if I just press W as forward, I'll move forward like that or back. If I press shift to sprint, it's even faster. Now, if I press Shift, W, and A to strafe left, this is A, this is D, that's even faster. Now, there's one even faster way of moving within Doom. The way of just pressing A or D with your W and Shift keys is called strafe 40. Strafe 50 is where you activate strafe on and turn at the same time. So in my case, I'm using the mouse to turn, as you can see by the uh, little circle there. And I have my right mouse button set 
as my turn on button or strafe on button sorry so now when I move my mouse to the left or right instead of turning it's moving me left and right and this is what allows strafe 50 to occur SR 50 strafe 50 is where you hold W shift a and press your turn on or strafe on button while you move your mouse or if you have keys for it like this you would press the keys so here's me doing it with the keys so alt is the default and then the arrow keys to turn but I just use my mouse it makes it easier so I'm pressing shift W a pressing my right mouse button and moving my mouse to the left and that enables me to do SR 50 to actually get the trick all you need to do is stand into this wall and do SR 50 into this corner just basically do that over and over the angle on this is precise to get out but for me because I'm a filthy casual as I'm assuming most people watching this are you can kinda just keep going at it until it works and there you go you'll notice that I passed through so I'm outside the walls of the game now here's the interesting part which is also the hard part what you need to do is see this blue here and see that door navigate over to it and you see this you want to go on this side of it so you should see this this is the exit switch that you would normally hit after making it through the level but if I try to press it you can just hear that doom guy is making the oomph noise as he can't press it from outside of the level this is where the tricky part comes in what you need to do is line yourself up so that the pistol is basically exactly aligned with the red I'm gonna be facing straight ahead and you can see how there's like that little itty bit of red left that's where you want to end up is somewhere around there and you want to line up your pistol so that the left side of it is in line the thing about this is it actually does take a few tries usually almost nobody even in actual speedruns of the game can get this instantaneously it's consistent if you line it up but it does take a little bit of patience so you'll notice right now I'm just spamming my use key whilst trying to line myself up and eventually once you get yourself in the just right spot you will hit the switch again it takes patience this is hard to do what you're trying to do is get doom guy to, te to technically be pressing the switch from inside the map one other thing to keep in mind is there are many other ways of pressing the switch there we go I got it so you can see you just kind of have to be in the middle there it's definitely hard to do it takes a lot of practice and a lot of figuring out but it is possible so let me go back into there, Love to 6, now I'm going to do it a little bit faster. I'm still going to walk you through what I'm doing, but do it at a speed that's more reasonable. First you open this, hit the switch, come around here, hit this switch, pull out your pistol, which helps when you're trying to get out of or when you're trying to hit the switch at the end because it's the most centered of all the weapons go through here take your two lefts and start using SR 50 by pressing strafe on turn left strafe left sprint and forward and just start kind of SR 50 ing repeatedly into the wall until you get it of course people who are better at the game will get this on the first try but this isn't meant as a speedrunning tutorial because I'm not good enough at this game to speedrun it now basically you keep SR 50 ing and eventually 
you will go out of bounds. One thing I will say is that this does get easier with practice. I had a streak of time where I could get it on my first try on most attempts because I was doing it consistently. Once you learn this, it's quite cool to be able to do. Plus, this map is an annoying map anyway, so it's nice to be able to skip it. There we go, now I'm out. I go over toward the door. Start using the... Start pressing the use key. When I'm getting toward the right spot. And there we go. That's the map done. One thing to keep in mind is there are other ways to press the switch, other lineups you can use. The lining up in the center of it is just the one that works the best for me. And that is how you do the void glide in E2M6 of Ultimate Doom. For a technical explanation of why the trick works, instead of giving a butchered version within the video, I'm going to provide the resources that I learned from within the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe so that way you can see my next video. Have any suggestions on which games and tricks I should cover next? Leave them in the comments and I'll get to them. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.